Hello everyone, welcome back to GeoGuessr. Uh, today we are going to be doing GeoGuessr. Uh, see if it decides to work. This is episode 23. Uh, let's, let's try these quizzes. I'm interested in these. Teacher quizzes. Do I do want to do geography? Because that's kind of the point of this. 50-50 geography quiz. Let's see here. Okay, 100,000 is my max points. Okay, it's 50-50. Okay. Okay. 20 rounds, all right. Land of the Rising Sun is Japan. I think you are timed, too. What's the highest mountain in Africa? Mount Kilimanjaro. I don't think Mount Kenya is a thing. I could be wrong. The smallest continent is Australia. It did not take me six seconds. Why is my internet? What country is known for having the most pyramids? Known for it or has? Because it's Sudan. Okay, that was poorly phrased. Also, if this, if my shitty internet makes me lose points, I'm just smashing my router. Official language of Argentina is Spanish. All right. I'm trying to go through it quickly. Smallest ocean is the Arctic. Country is known for producing the most coffee. Colombia, Brazil. Hmm. All right, got that one wrong. Interesting. I didn't know that. Uh, which country has the largest number of UNESCO World Heritage sites? Italy. I think. All right. What's the name of the strait that separates Asia and North America? It's the Bering Strait. What is the capital of Australia? Canberra? Almost went for Sydney, but... Alright. What's most more densely? Bangladesh. Japan's very densely populated, but Bangladesh, Bangladesh is more so. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba. Southernmost capital city is... Uh, Buenos Aires, Wellington's on the capital. Oh! Oh. Uh, I was thinking of Auckland. Which country has the longest coastline? Norway. Because of all the islands. Norway has more islands than any other country. Still, more islands means more coastline. Largest country in Africa by area is DRC. It's Algeria. Interesting. Didn't know that. Which river is longest in Europe? I think it's the Volga. Almost went for Danube, just because it's more prevalent in my mind, but it is the Volga. Which mountain range separates Europe and Asia? Okay. There's no definitive. Which African country is home to the largest elephant population? I think it's Tanzania. I am wrong. They're getting harder. All right. Which, uh, which country is home to the ancient city of Petra? I'm going to say Jordan. That was correct. Which island is divided between three countries? Borneo. Okay. Which, which capital city is closest to the North Pole? Great right here, there. Yeah. 75,000, so three out of four correct. All right, let's go do a map. Uh, if I can remember, I can never remember how to get to the maps. Community maps, that's it. It's under the community tab. Uh, let's do popular this week. 
wait for it to load. Just gonna refresh here. Or a new, or anything would be great. My internet always goes fucky the second I start playing GeoGuessr, and I don't know why. Okay. I guess we just go to community and uh, hope for the best. Go to maps again. Does not want to let me do any maps. Ooh, editor's choice came up. Okay. Guess we have to do an editor's choice. Um, see here Ooh, roller coasters could be interesting let's do roller coasters that might be fun okay average score is twelve thousand and some change let's see if i can beat that what is this fucking music brother shanker I don't recognize the, uh, the Bandit Amusement Park. I don't know how I feel about this music. Oh, that's Cyrillic. Fluttering. By the second, I actually don't know. I mean, clearly Eastern Europe, but I'm gonna try looking around a little bit more. Let's see what this building is. See the this building before and after it was finished. I don't know, so I'm just gonna go somewhere in Eastern Europe. Ish. There we go. Okay, it was in Russia. Rostovon Don. Rostovon. I don't know. How you slide over there, okay. See, this is throwing me off because I'm looking at the cars, right? None of these look like American cars except the, the, the Dodge Caliber right here. I'm thinking... A-L-A. -A. I think we're in Europe. Europe. I'm hoping some of these signs can tell me something. Good car swell. Okay. So it's still Eastern Europe, but they're not using Cyrillic lettering. I'm really not sure about this music, bro. I've been thinking about adding music to these anyway, but like.
very confused. I'm gonna, I mean, it's obviously Eastern Europe. I just couldn't tell you much else. I'm gonna make the, I'm gonna guess in roughly the same area as I did last time. Spearish. Poland. Aquapark Fala. Oh, it's huge. Hmm. Oopsie doopsies. Alright. Okay, this looks like UK going off the road. Let's see if I can get some more information here. Okay. The resort at downtown East. just in London. Downtown East. Oh, I'm just completely wrong. Tropical. <sighs> Try going this way here. It's too tropical to be Britain, but it's probably current or former British uh, possession. Could be like Jamaica or something. starting to think one of the current or former uh, British possessions in the Caribbean. Could be Jamaica. Let's see where it is. The arena preschool. Not SG. Southeast Asia. But I think the Catholic school. Bungalows, chalets. I'm really beginning to think I might be in Vietnam, which doesn't really make any sense to be this, I, I can't think of a reason there'd be this much English. Their only other form of, only other form of British uh, possession would be India, and I don't think we're in India. Basir Reese Town. No, that's not. I don't really think we're in V. 
Vietnam either. Pakistan, I guess. Leon soon. I, I feel like it's a it's a former British colony in at the very least southern Asia. But which one? Indonesia. Okay. I was I was just thinking about the mainland. I wasn't even thinking about uh, Indonesia. So I'm assuming probably Jakarta. Pasir Sata. Nice. I'm going with Jakarta again just because it's the center of the pop the center population. Singapore is just like this whole thing is an entire country. Wild, wild, what? I didn't realize Singapore was that, uh, in, well, that heavily English speaking, honestly. Like, Singapore is an interesting, uh, interesting case. I don't know who owns all this either. Decent chunk of this island is Malaysia. And part of it's also. Uh, or is the whole thing? I don't know. I feel like part of that was split with uh, Indonesia, but I could just be wrong. Okay. Magic land. Luxury at, a, at an affordable price. English tags. We're driving on the right side of the road, but I'm, I don't think we're in the U.S. It's very tropical, and these aren't. Those don't appear to be American vehicles. read it clearly enough, but I'm pretty confident we're in Nigeria, then. about the capital too so it's gotta be Lagos. Lagos or whatever you say. Because you're just coming into it. Oh, yeah. 
which is the capital. And or who, I don't know how you say this name, but it's not Lagos. Lagos. It's not the capital. That is. Uh, Abuja? That probably would help me track it down. I probably could have clicked right next to it if I... Hmm. Oops. Alright. Ranger. Question is, I guess our, our first question can be, where do they speak both French and Arabic? Or where are those both fairly well-known languages at least? In other words, who in the Middle East do I know was popular? Previously, a uh, French colony. Uh, I guess I could really, because the Arabic text could also be kind of anywhere in here, I feel like. That's going off my, like, lack of knowledge. I'm not saying, I mean, it could be anywhere, but y'all know what I'm saying. in northern Africa, it's feasible. That could have been that could be Arab speaking and French speaking. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go with Tunisia and hope for the best. God damn. Okay, I thought I saw something that said Tunis. God damn, that was I've had worse guesses. Ugh. Wow. All right. Well, that was cool. Uh, I'm very impressed with myself on that last one. The first one, I was... Let's see, I technically... Ah, uh, damn, I was just over into Belarus. I, I was going to say, I almost... I wonder if I technically guessed the right country. Number two, excuse me, same thing again. I kind of gave up and picked Central Europe. Wrong country again. Uh, number three... I picked Jakarta when it was Singapore, so I was off by about 500 miles. Number four. Oh yeah, I just forgot what the capital of Nigeria was. That would have been that would, that would have like a dead giveaway if I'd known that. And then 4,000 points because I guessed I guessed the wrong area of Tunis, but I did guess Tunis. Not bad. Oh. Interesting. All right, cool. Well, um, hope you guys enjoyed GeoGuessr once again. Um, if you did, you know the drill. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.